My name is Tanya Black. I've been in this wheelchair for 10 years, and mostly life's pretty good. If it wasn't for the constant spasms from my paralyzed legs. I've tried a variety of different drugs, nothing's worked. Now I'm on the hunt for an alternative. I'm in the pursuit of pot. How hard can it be? I feel like this could be a solution, but it just seems so complicated. When Anya has seizures, she stops breathing, so she'll turn quite blue, and then she starts shaking. She was on this awful cocktail of eight drugs. Giving my baby a cocktail of drugs was awful. I was on over 100 tablets a day, and so it was morphine, gabapentin, tramadol, DHC continuum, codeine. Within that, drugs to counter the side effects of the drugs that I was taking. There is one cannabis-based product mm -hmm. that can be medically prescribed. Do you have any idea what the cost is of something like that? Ballpark, 900 to 1,000 a month. In fact, I've spent over $28,000 on medicine. I can't afford it. It's out of reach for people who need it for therapeutic purposes. There was children in America that had been started on medicinal cannabis. The changes that were seen in those children just gave us hope. So the numbers here in the United States show that somewhere between 90 to 100 people die every day from the opioid crisis. What we do know about cannabis is the chances of overdose and death are very remote. And they don't seem to be able to find a referral, so they've just put on hold. Oh my god. These are the people that have prescribed me fentanyl, which is 10 times stronger than heroin, but they won't support medicinal cannabis. I have yet to meet a person on opiates who doesn't feel poisoned by them. Cannabis was demonized early on in its history through some political madness. We're taught this is bad. We need to let go of that. Very similar to the arguments we have on climate change at the moment. It's difficult for either side to interpret the data in a meaningful way. There's people out there that are suffering today that are being forced to go underground to get their products. I do not think it's fair to say, well, if you have one foot in the grave, you can get this. What about the people who aren't dying? They're just suffering. How come they can't be included? 